Hi, this is Sander van Vught, and in this video I want to give an answer to a question that I've been received a lot lately. So the question is, how do I configure port forwarding using firewall CMD? Uh, and especially, uh, the port forwarding has to be configured uh, to a port on the same host. So, how would you approach to a situation like that? Well, a good start is firewall-cmd. Uh, dash dash help uh, because this command has so many options uh, that it is hard to remember everything if you do a grab on forward for example uh, then you can see a syntax summary so what we see here is basically everything we need in the syntax so let me show you how it works if we wanted to do this we would type firewall dash cmd dash dash add forward port equals port equals it's a little bit weird because you have port equals port equals and that sounds like if it's too much but it is not it's just the way it is so let's do port forwarding on port 2222 and let's forward that to proto uh, equals tcp which by the way is still part of the 2222 and we want to forward it to uh, another port so that should be two port equals 22. Now if you want to do remote port forwarding you need to add to address equals something else. We don't want to do remote port forwarding we just want to open another port uh, that gives access to the same service so this should be enough. Okay since I've already tested I'm getting the already enabled so let's just ignore the already enabled uh, or if you want to system ctl restart firewall D. There we go. If I do it again now, then I don't get the already enabled. I just want you to be sure that uh, that I'm not uh, cheating or doing whatever uh, weird stuff. Uh, now, as you are aware, a port that has been added like this wouldn't be set as permanent. So I'm adding dash dash permanent as well to write it uh, to the configuration. Now the next step would be to test it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to my other server. The other server is listening on uh, IP address last byte 175. So I'm going to 192.168.4.175 I'm logging in and now I want to test it. Now there are many solutions to test it. Uh, as this is going to an SSH server, I would just be able to well do the tests on SSH. But I like Netcat. So Netcat, uh, which, uh, which comes from NC. Uh, NC is a command that allows you to probe a specific port uh, on a specific service. So if I'm doing NC192.168.4.175 on port 2222, uh, then I can see, oh dear, we've got a connection that is refused. So apparently something is wrong and that is obvious because I'm making a mistake here. I don't want to do this on 175.22.22 because that's the local host where I'm currently at. Uh, the IP address I should be using is 173. So let's repeat that. I'm going to 172, uh, log in again, and I'm replacing the 175 in my netcat command uh, by 173. And we can see that there's an SSH process uh, that is answering. This is proof enough because this is showing that the port is actually uh, available as a port forwarding port. And that is all you need to do. Uh, in Netcat, uh, yeah, I, I have hit uh, enter. Uh, Netcat is expecting me to send some specific SSH commands. I didn't do that. I just hit enter, and that is not enough. So I'm just doing Control C to get out of there. Another way to do the same thing, by the way, would be Nmap. Uh, just type Nmap followed by 192.168.4.173, and you will see a list of all ports that are available on that server. Okay, let me show that as well. So I need to install nmap. You install nmap and we need to give it a second. 
Now we have nmap installed and I can do uh, nmap. So that will be nmap. And let's not make the mistake on the IP address uh, 173. It's going to probe all ports that are open on the remote machine. And that should give us, well, this information. In which we can see that 2222 is available. Now let me show you something else. If I wanted to do this from the local machine, does it also work? So let me do a yum install nc and nmap dash y on the local machine as well. And wait a second again. So nc on local host 2222 is giving me a connection refused. And that is because the port forwarding isn't connecting to the local host. So don't do this on local host, okay? If you want to do port forwarding on local host, that is perfectly fine. But to test it, you really, really, really need to go to another machine. And that is very confusing. And that is what sometimes goes wrong. And that is what I wanted to show you. But hey, wait, there's one more thing I want to show you. And that is my beautiful website, rhatshirt.com. I'm trying to provide more uh, useful information through that website. Also, I'm selling my video courses through that website. If you want to be an RHCSA or an RHCE, you can buy the video course here and listen carefully. Uh, contact me and I can give you a 40% discount. 40% discount, that's a significant discount. Uh, you want to have it if you want to have the courses, of course. Uh, get in touch with me if you want to know more. Uh, just go to the website and fill in the form asking me for the discount code. And I'll be happy to give it to you. Uh, something else, uh, tomorrow I'm recording an RHCSA and an RHCE exam prep workshop uh, here in New York. I'm in New York currently. Uh, this workshop will be available uh, in three months normally, so it should be on the market in September, I hope early September. And this really is the last thing you want to see before actually doing the exam. I'm going to record some great tips that make sure that you are going to pass the exam. See you later. Greetings from New York. This was Sander van Vught. Thank you very much.